I have officially just lost my mind. <laughs> I just got a collection of snowmans here, have just arrived, and they are mind blowing. You'll see why in a second. I just thought I wanted to do something. I want to show you guys what my studio looks like right now. <laughs> it's an absolute mess, but it's very exciting. So, <clears throat> let's see here. Alright, so you guys know that I just had my Sihiro order come in. Uh, we have, I think it's what, 17 stones or something like that here. I have my orders from uh, the Wusthof and the Zwilling stones uh, from Cutlery Moor have just come in. Down here, we have another 9 or 10 sets of knives of Wusthofs that are all waiting to be unboxed and reviewed. And here are more stones and more knives, uh, orders that have just come in. Uh, we have Dalstrong that have sent me, I think, two dozen knives there. We have some custom handles that have just come in as well. <clears throat> and what else is there? Uh, then we have another, f another bunch of stones that have just come in uh, that are just there waiting. And these are more Vusov knives that I have here. Uh, that I have here. So. I have a completely full house of stuff. It is uh, really unbelievable how much stuff I have here. <laughs> I'm actually running out of room to walk. See, like this here, right here, uh, this was actually all empty space for a while, and I actually had a really big studio to, to walk in, but now it's actually kind of tied up and booked. Hopefully I will get the shelves here soon. Um, hopefully that company that reached out to me will come through and I'll get my shelves, which will save my life here. Oh, what else? Um, um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yeah, and so today I'm not going to be filming, so the camera and lights are off, if you guys can tell, definitely tell there. But I'm going to open up the Suhiro boxes because you know what? I'm excited for them. I want to see them. I want to check them out. And so this is going to be a very unorthodox unboxing because normally you guys, when it's in, in my unboxings, it's like I am, um, I've got lights shining and I've got all the background perfectly lit. Not today. And so this is going to be the most unorthodox unboxing that I am going to do, mainly because I really want to open these up. I really want to check them out uh, because I am really excited four of them. So I'm gonna, uh, so this might be a very long unboxing. So if you guys hate unboxings, just click the close button. So let's see, uh, where do I start? <laughs> let's open the Debato series. Debato. Oh, this is Debato, the 4000 series, or 4000 grit series. Um, I am really excited about this series right here because it's a very high, high quality stone set. Oh, here it is. It comes with its own high quality Nagara. And uh, I think this would be the 4,000 or 5,000 Nagara. Either way, it is intact. There's no cracks. That's a good thing. That's really what I want to check out. I just want to make sure that all these stones actually are not damaged in any way. This is the Debato 2000. Let's have a look. 2017 new Suhiro. Uh, this is their brand new design and uh, I really like them because they're massive. Absolutely massive. If you guys actually know whetstones, an average size whetstone is about, I would say an inch and a half shorter and about an inch narrower. And so it's actually really cool that they're coming out with whetstones that are this big. Okay, so this is the 1000. So, oops, the good thing is just a Nagara. Oh, that is very, very nice. Beautiful stone. Um, I actually have heard about this lineup a little while back, about a year ago, and I just was never able to afford them because they were like 150 bucks each, something like that. Um, they even have another line, it's called the Debato Gyumyo, or Gyumko, or something like that. Um, they, those stones cost like 250 each, and so, I will be getting those as well. You know what? Let's do a Kitayama 8000. This stone here I actually have used a little while back. Here it is. Ooh. Very, very smooth. This is the famed Rika 5000. 
That is so nice. Now, this one actually, they sent the one with the base, which I don't like, but I'm not going to complain. So this is the 6,000 polishing stone in the Rika family. Ooh, that is nice. Beautiful white stone. Let's see, ooh, I can feel it. Oh, that is smooth. That is beautiful. And this is the Oka. Yeah, ooh, that is nice. So it's a peach color stone. And it's intact. That's what I'm verifying. That's the most important thing. Nice pretty box. This is the first gold box I have ever gotten for a stone. And that looks luxurious, doesn't it? Feels like it's New Year's. Chinese New Year's where you get everything in gold and red. All right, so here is the stone. It's got a, it's a grayish green tint to it. And this is the G version. So I'm not sure between the G and the W what they actually, uh, what they actually mean, but I will figure that out. Of the same 8,000 grit stone. It's also fun to look at, right? All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so here is the 8,000 white or W and oh man, that is smooth. Woo. All right, so this one's intact. No problems there. Uh, I literally am out of room in my studio for more stones and more knives. And I still have like three or four boxes of knives and stones, or knives that need to be opened and stored. Oh, the 404, I'm sorry, it's it's 320 grit. Uh, the 404, I think is their designation in, internally that tells you what size uh, the stones are. But this is a 320 grit stone. And it is a brick. Look at this thing. That is the gray brick. I'm going to name it the gray brick. But uh, very, very nice. It's actually really nice that this stone in particular is very thick because typically your lower grit stones will wear a lot faster. So having a 320 grit stone that is this thick and this hefty, it's a good thing. The 700 grit stone. Uh, good. Moving up the grit ladder here. Oh, interesting. It's got a dark peach color. Very, very nice. And... Uh, I've always liked Sahara stones, especially the, uh, the Cerex lines. They're just really, really good stones. And so I'm actually really curious to see how this compares to something like a Tracera 800. Um, that's really the only stone in that uh, grit range that I can really compare it to. And this one is also a brick. Here we are, the 1000, the 2020 is their thicker stone. So when you see like 1010, for example, I'm pretty sure that the 1010 designation down here uh, represents the 1000 grit, but on a thicker, on a thin, thin size stone. This one here is, oh, look at this, oh, look at this brick. That is exciting. Really, really exciting. Now this stone here uh, was my favorite soaking stone, my favorite 1000 soaking stone, because it is very slow to wear. It gives you a really nice polish and it just was extremely fast in terms of how it, uh, how fast it performed and the hand feel was just second to none. Uh, this is probably still my favorite soaking stone at this point uh, for a 1000 grit stone. Oh, it's the 3030, holy cow. They're... Okay, so this is what happened. I asked for the complete collection of the Cerax and they literally, like literally sending me the complete collection of the Cerax. <laughs> And I thought that was a brick. Here is a true brick coming. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, okay, you guys gotta see this. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. It's like pulling a catfish out of the river. This is huge. Okay, just to give you guys a perspective, a proper perspective of how this stone Looks. I think there's also a 1000 here somewhere. Okay, here we go. This is, yes, I, I was right. There is a 1000 version, which is the normal version. This is probably what you guys will be buying if you guys were buying the CRX 1000. Here is a CRX 1000, an average size whetstone. 
This is what you guys normally would get if you guys were to buy 1,000. Now, they also sent me the two, uh, the two, 2020 version. So let me just show you guys what I'm talking about numbers, what I mean. So right here, it says 101010, 10, 10, right? 1010, 10, which is the 1000 grit in a one inch. Yeah, one inch. So the 10 stands for one inch. And then this is the 2020 of the 1000. So it's roughly two inches. And now, this is the 3030, which is a three inch thick stone. So, this is the 11010 versus the 2020. See how, how big the difference is, or how dramatic the difference is? It literally is twice the size. Okay? Uh, thick, width, and width is the same size and with same height. Just it's double the thickness. Okay? And then we take this. Oh, compare this to the 3030 version. Look at that. Okay, <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. This is about three times the thickness. This is massive, massive. And it's also, uh, it's also, ooh, I don't want to drop this on a glass table. It's also taller by about a three quarters of an inch. Okay, and it's also wider. So if you look here, um, how can I show you guys here? Oh, here we go. It's also wider by about a half an inch. I mean, this stone is a beast. It is a brick. It is the white brick. I gotta give it a new name. The white brick on my channel. Oh, 5,000. Haha. The Cirax 5,000. Interesting. It's actually the same color as the Rika 5,000. I think it might be a slightly lighter tone, but it's very, very close to the Rika 5,000. Time to do a comparison between this and the Rika 5,000. All right, so this is the Cirax 6000. Ooh, look at that. That is a pretty stone. Really pretty stone. So, yeah, very smooth. Very nice stone. Their boxes, by the way, are really, really nice. It's a satin, satin finished box. It's kind of like that. It's that same uh, color that you would see a lot of wedding invitations are in. It's that, that pearl white iridescent color. Uh, so it's actually really nice. It's probably one of the nicer boxes for a whetstone company that I have seen. Alright, check this out. So the Cirax 8000 is white, just like the W8000 of the Rika family. The Rika, you know, the, the, the stone name Rika applies to just the Rika 5000. However, a very popular retailer in the US has named the stones in that series the Rika family so it has been called the Rika 3000 the Rika 4000 the Rika 5000 6000 and the Rika 8000 but the truth is there's only one Rika and that's a 5000 um, so I think that's you know even though it's actually very uh, erroneous um, to actually call that whole family the Rika it made it easy in the US to refer to the Rika uh, stones, the Rika 5000, 4000, 3000, and 8000, because it actually just made it easy for people to understand, oh, you're talking about this stone in this lineup, not the Cirax, right? So it just made it easier. So I, even though it actually is wrong to call the 3000 stone, for example, this stone here, the Rika 3000, it made it easier to, for people to understand which stone you're actually talking about, or the Rika. 8,000, okay? So it's not a Rika stone, but to refer to it as the Rika, uh, it actually just, you know, it made, it made a little bit of sense. And we have other stones here. Let's see what they are. I don't know if they actually are Nagaras or if they are something else. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You're gonna be really excited about this. This is gonna be really cool. This is what I have been wanting for a very long time. For these. And I'll show you why after I get this one opened. These, uh, we have the 220 grit, we have the 500 grit, and the 1000 grit. Why are these so exciting to me? Well, I'll, I'll pull one out and show you. The reason why this is so exciting to me is because, oh, wait a minute. 
Side note here, you guys remember the Debato series? When I picked it up, I said this was the 2000 grit. I was wrong, it was a 200 grit. The reason I remember to look at the stone was because I'm looking at this thing, I'm like, wait a minute, this looks just like the green Debato, but it's not small, you know, it's small. I'm like, wait, so I looked at the box again, and it says, it says, uh, you know, number 200, I thought it was 2000 grit, but that was my era in reading it. This is a 200 bit Debato. So in terms of what I have, I have 200, 400, and the 1000 grit Debato. And then once you go beyond the 1000 grit, it goes to the Gugumo, Gugumko series, which is like 2000, 4000, 6000 grit. So this is the uh, lower grit version of the Debato series. Here, so you look right here, these were actually designed to sharpen guarding tools. Okay, so they're actually rounded on top like a horseshoe. And so this is what you need to sharpen recurved knives. And without this curve, it actually makes it really, really difficult to sharpen certain types of knives. And so I'm really excited to have these here because now I actually can sharpen certain bony knives that I was never really able to touch before because of the double curving or the reverse curving of a bony knife. So really exciting stuff. So this is my new Seahero Whetstone collection. Uh, very exciting with the Kitayama 8000, which is this guy right here. So I have the entire lineup of the Cerax, Suhiro Cerax collection. I have the entire lineup of the Rika family collection. And I've got my Kitayama 8000 for official review. So as you got, oh, I hope that didn't break anything. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so, uh, well, you guys are probably thinking, what am I gonna do with these stones? Obviously they are going to go against head to head one-on-one -on -one battles with the Shepton Glass Stones, the Shepton Pro Stones, the Chosera Stones, the Super Stones, and it's going to be an insane battle. And I think that the Syrax and these stones over here, the Rika family, will definitely hold their own. And as a stone, as a stone set, as a series, they are absolutely fantastic uh, from what I have used of them so far. And it's going to be really fun. Um, you guys can definitely put in requests to see which stones you guys want me to compete against which of my other current stones. Uh, if you guys don't know, I have the complete lineup of Chosero stones, the complete lineup of uh, Super stones, the complete lineup of Shopton Pro and Shopton Glass stones. I literally have every stone in that collection and every stone in the Cerax collection and the Rika collection now. So yeah, very exciting time for my studio and for my channel as well. And uh, thank you guys for being here. I will have all these stones sharpened and reviewed as we go forth. Uh, the easiest way to see a particular stone in action is to tell me, leave in the comments, which stones you actually want to see in action. And I will actually make that video probably quicker than I, than I would if I were to choose that stone on my own time. Alright, well thank you guys for being here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, now, I don't know what to do with these stones. I mean, uh, I don't know where to put them. I don't... I don't have room for them in the studio anymore. I don't have shelves. I'm still waiting for my shelves to arrive. So I am gonna have to put them on the floor. Oh my goodness. It's sacrilege. No, I can't put them on the floor. I'm gonna make space for them somewhere. <sighs> Why? Why? If you guys are curious as to what my life looks like on a daily basis, Head over to my vlog at Ricky Tran, which I will leave in the card here or in the description below. My vlog is much more an in-depth look at my life and to kind of show you guys exactly what happens. Um, nothing's being edited out. You guys are seeing exactly me as I am. It's the same person, just kind of in a different context. You guys will get to see everything, how my channel gets put together, what my schedule is like every single day, what my routine is like every single day. And for those who are curious about how to run our YouTube channel, I show you guys that as well. Uh, that's something that a lot of folks have asked me about. I basically show you how I run my channel and show you what goes on in terms of how I get my knives, um, how I started getting my knives, and what the process is of me producing my videos. I'll show you my setup and show you basically everything that I use. So if you guys are curious about that, would love to have you guys join me there. Uh, again, I will leave the card here in the corner of the screen or in the description below.